Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, popping in for another video. Now, listen, today, our video sponsor is an amazing author of this great book, Seven Hard Truths of Healing, A Guide to Doing It Anyway. Now, I will put the link for this book. This is by Miss Imani Adibuye. Ad, now, y'all know I'm a little country. Adib Adibuye. Okay, y'all got to forgive me <laughs> on the name. Now, Imani, she is a life coach. She's an author. I want you to support her because she really is stepping out there on faith. Like she takes and she, she promotes her coaching business, her book business. I mean, she really is. She said, hey, if I'm going to do it, I got to do it. So when your time comes up, you're going to remember the support you gave somebody else. This is Seven Hard Truths of Healing. What I love about it is she, she keeps it simple. It's, it's, it's set up beautifully in here, but it's seven hard truths, not 70. So you can get through this in one city. You can get through this in an hour, two hours max. Spend time, go back through it. So make sure you click the link in the bio, get her book. and But also really what I want you to get it for too is so that you can use it as a guide to realize that you don't have to write a hundred page book to be published. Like you could jump out there. She wrote this book. This book is 27 pages. This book, 27 pages. And that's what I try to tell people all the time. Don't, don't wait until you get that 150 page book. Jump on out there. So grab this seven hard truths. The link is in the description. Now, listen, I want to do this video on stop playing with people. Stop playing with people. The reason being is somebody sent me a video of a lady who she's facing life for running over her boyfriend after finding some disturbing text. Now, I seen this lady run over this man look like she also hit somebody else. Now, if you remember not long ago, we saw the lady who got into it with her boyfriend and I think she took the life of five or six people in California. Then we seen another lady, I saw another lady run over her man. The bumper came off of the front of her car. She picked up the bumper and went and beat the man with the bumper. The lady who ran over the man with the van, she hopped out the van and went and whooped the man. And when you look at the video, she hitting them with haymakers. You hear me? Like, she, she right-handed. She hitting them with haymakers. She's standing over top of them, and she, yeah, yeah. And the way she throwing, it lets you know she done been in some, some tussles. It looked like she raised by men. Like, she raised with brothers, the way she was throwing it. It, it, ain't, it wasn't no weak throw. She, she throwing. Listen. And yes, on one side, we could say, oh, this mental health issues, these women is crazy, this and that. At the same time, we saw the men. We saw the men who, we saw the man who took the life of the woman with six kids. We saw the other man who took his three children's life and his life. We seen another man. All this here within the last two, three months, six months that, I, that has been sent to me. And here's the thing, you don't know where a person is in their life. So if you're not ready for love, if you ain't ready to be serious, if you're not ready to be committed, then let it go. Let it go. Don't even get into it. Do not be in a relationship, male or female. This is going both ways. Do not be in a relationship if you can't be committed. If you can't get in this relationship and be faithful, then leave the relationship alone. Lead a relationship, don't even get in a relationship because you plan with your life. If you're going to get in a relationship and be sending text messages to other people and cheating and doing all this and that and hiding, having secrets, you are playing with your life. Somebody going to lose their life. People is fed up. People tired. They done had enough. It done been too much pain. It done been too much of this. And listen, 
You can't try to speak rational, rational to somebody who is irrational. So it don't do us no good to tell somebody, oh, it's nothing in the world that is worth that. Oh, it's nothing in the world that'll make you run somebody over. You don't know what somebody done been through. You don't know who and what they done been through. That's that's honestly why this seven hard truths of healing is so important because a lot of people ain't doing the work. So if you don't want to be the one, hard truth number three, establishing new boundaries. If you don't want to be the one that is running somebody over, then you need to heal. But here's the thing. You only responsible. All you can control is your healing. So if you are not healed, guess what? You go into a relationship and you're not healed. This other person, you don't know if they're healed either. So when they go to pushing your buttons, you, you liable to lose your mind. You are liable to lose your mind. And listen, this is any and this is everybody. It's not just people who got a mental disorder. It's not just people who got mental health issues. Humans have mental health issues. Humans are on the brink. Humans are on the edge. We just saw a billionaire. I don't know, I don't know if he was a billionaire. The owner of, what is it, Bed Bath & Beyond? Jumped off of, was it, 12-story building? Jumped to his death. We see this stuff also. We see multimillionaires, billionaires take their life. It's like the man, I can't remember his name. Maybe it was Epstein. How do you get to a place to where you amass that much wealth, but then make the decisions that he made? And then because of those decisions and what he was led to, took his own life. This is everyday people. This ain't people who in an asylum. This ain't people who in, in the psych ward with a white jacket on. This everyday people. This is millionaires. This billionaires. This school teachers. That lady who was in that van, that was a, that's a mom van. Nine out of ten times, she is a mom. Because if she's single, she ain't going to be driving no caravan. I mean, if she ain't got no kids, she ain't going to be driving no caravan. So this is a mom. So... Most likely, this mom probably done had hand, probably done been beat on several times, probably been cheated on several times, probably been lied to, taken advantage of, child's father, left her, may have multiple children, father, and multiple children from different men, and then get with this boyfriend, tell this man, I'm tired of the games, I'm tired of playing, I'm not playing no more. The man say, okay, I got you. I'm serious, and then boom, go to cheat. Go to cheat. That lady says she didn't had enough. Next thing you know, because listen, listen, it's very rarely you're going to see somebody get in the car and run somebody over for hey, a hey, how you doing text. You see what I mean? And, and But at the same time, you don't know what somebody done been through. So that's why it's very important that we stop playing games, that we stop playing games because somebody will end it all. Somebody will end it all. And, and people will take your life and their life. And so you got to come to the place where you realize, you wake up and realize and understand that it's time out for the games. It's time out for the games. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious, to work on yourself, to do your healing, go through these seven hard truths, make sure you heal. Because listen, everybody's susceptible. Everybody's susceptible, including myself. It's, I know it's probably stuff out there that could push me across the edge. And that's why I have to stay prayed up, stayed up, and bathed up. You hear me? I got to be on the, the straight and narrow because we don't know what straw going to break the camel's back. So listen to me, please. If you are not ready to love, if you're not ready to love, then stay single. If you're not ready to be committed, then you could be ready to be committed. But if you're not willing 
If you're not able to be hurt, then stay single. It go both ways. If you ain't ready to settle down and be 100% committed, stay single. If you can't afford to be hurt again, stay single. Because you could say, hey, I'm ready to love. I'm ready to commit. I want real love. But at the same time, if you say, if I get hurt one more time, somebody paying a price. If you got to say that, then you need to stay single. Because you don't know. You don't know what this person going to bring into your life. You don't know what this person went through, what they going through, and what they going to do. You don't know if this person's slow or not. You don't know if this person is just can't get right. And so you have to love is a gamble. Love is a gamble. When you when you go into love, when you go into a relationship, you got to be willing to lose your shirt. Now, you got to do your work. And see, when you do your work, when you have healed, and healed don't mean perfect. Yeah, you still going to have triggers. Yeah, you still going to go through some things, but you need to be at least 80%. So that way, the stuff you go through, you know how to address it. You know how to deal with it without going, you know, completely losing it. A lot of people going into another relationship and they 30%, 40% heal. So when an offense happened, it sent you over the edge. It sent you over the edge. You through dealing. So I want you to understand you got to take your time. You got to take your time. You got to work on your mind. You got to heal. You got to love yourself on another level. And you have to move differently. And you got to understand that relationships are not to be played with. They're not to be played with. Now, I, it's highly unlikely somebody going to get in the car and run somebody over. Especially having kids. Driving their soccer van. Their mom van. It's highly unlikely somebody going to do that for no reason. And so for me, as a, as a man, as a person... When I look at this thing, uh, hey, man, I think my Bluetooth hooked up to that speaker. Um, for me, as a man, when I look at this thing, I look and I say, hey, babe. She's trying to hook up the Bluetooth, but when she turned the volume down, I see the volume change on my phone. Hopefully my sound's still going. But when I look at this thing here, I take and I see and I say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm almost, see, here's the thing. I'm getting to the point to where I'm starting, and Lord forgive me, but I'm starting not to feel sorry for people in the sense of, not in the literal sense, but what I'm at is the point is we too grown. We are too grown to be playing games. We too grown to be cheating. We too grown to be lying. We too grown to be playing games. See, the Bible say the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The reason why I say that is, is because if you keep doing the wrong thing, eventually somebody gonna lose it. Somebody or something is going to lose it and it's going to cost you everything. That's why the Bible say the wages of sin is death. Now see, the wages of sin is death, that in eternity is no death. So what that's what that means is that your sin gonna lead you to your grave while you living. Not the wages of sin is hell fire in eternity. The wages of sin is death. Yeah, that's gonna come out the but your sin going to lead you to your grave. And so you have to realize that. And you got to recognize, like, listen, let me do me. Let me work on me. Let me heal me. Let me learn the signs. Let me get to the place to where I know better. So now that I know better, now that I know better, now I know that if I see these red flags, if I see these signs, this person is controlling, this person is rude and nasty, this person bitter, this person verbally, this person emotionally. Okay, let me remove myself because I done did the work. I done learned the red flags. I done learned the signs. And now I done did the work also and I'm healed. So if I miss the red flags and this person do something stupid, okay, now 
that I've been cheated on, I've been lied to, and now I know I could walk away. Now I know I could walk away instead of taking a life, instead of taking my life, instead of taking the children's life, because I've done my work. I've went through my seven hard truths of healing. Now listen, make sure you grab this here book. It's a, it's a simple read, easy read. Get you right through it. It ain't meant to trip you up. Imani, she's very, very smart. And she's also a coach on mymentor.life. So you can go to mymentor.life forward slash and then her name, Imani, and you can book a session with her as well. So, and I, and the reason why I really, Imani, she, she support me by sponsoring a video, sponsoring an IG post. So I really want y'all to support her. And uh, her email is on there too, on the back of her book, Coach Imani3, Coach Imani3 at gmail.com. So, hey, God bless you. Do the work. Get your life right. Get your mind right. Don't play with yourself. Don't play with nobody else. Don't play with love. Don't play with no relationship because it's costing the day. It's costing everything. It is Tony Gaskins. God bless you.